Okay, as much as I like the stock bench seat look of the truck, um, my issue right now is because I have that new QuickTime bell housing, it pushed everything back. So you can see down here, there's the MGW short throw shifter. It's coming up directly where the seat needs to be. So as you guys know, you could use a forward mount on the T56, which would probably move your uh, shift location up further. I just decided not to do that. Um, I didn't realize I was gonna need a special bell housing until I'd actually got partway through the project and that added some costs, so, and so does moving the shifter location. So, um, plus I kind of like the idea of a bench seat in, or a bucket seat in an old truck. I think it just makes it look more unique. So we're gonna try something different and uh, this bench seat here is gonna come out. The bolts have already been removed, um, but all that holds in these seats is uh, four bolts here, front and back on the driver and passenger side. And it helps to have a helper. Um, I don't right now, so I'm just gonna pull this out and uh, show you what it looks like. All right, got the seat removed. Don't mind these janky speakers. I'm gonna pull this carpet out because I do plan on putting some dynamite in. I'm gonna test fit the seats first though. Here are the seat brackets that come with the Corbo seats. These are specific to 73 through 87 C10 pickups. The part numbers are different for the driver and passenger side and are listed. I'm assuming, because it doesn't say so, that the seats are unique too, based on where the recline is. I'm gonna make sure that's on the outboard side. As you can see, this has been adjusted here all the way back to the rear position. I think what they want you to do first is move it all the way forward. This is all the way backwards, this will be second. Put the bolts through. Take it, slide it forward, and then you can access. Um, quick overview of the seats. So this is the uh, Corbo RRS. I went with Corbo because I'm in Salt Lake City and they are also in Salt Lake City. So I was actually able to go to their showroom. They had every single seat that they make um, for sale and you just make an appointment and you go there and you can sit in the seats. That was great. So I picked these seats here. Um, I think that these, they not only do they look cool, uh, but they're very comfortable and um, they look racy, but honestly, you could be in them, I think, for a while and you'd be comfortable. So um, there's options. These sit relatively low. I'll send a picture here or shoot a picture of the dimensions of the seat. So you can see how it fit in your vehicle. Um, I just opted to get the, uh, the seat brackets for the C10 so I could slide forward and back. You can get seat heaters for them too, but I don't think I'm gonna be driving this too much in the winter time. Okay, overall, how do I feel about these seats? Um, I feel really good about them. I think the fit and finish for what you pay is uh, is really good. I obviously got the seat brackets for a 73 through 87 C10. Um, if you look in the pictures, there was one hole that you know didn't line up perfect, uh, but just took a little bit of massaging and it all worked. So really, I mean, I think these would work with just about anybody's truck. I think you know they made these trucks for such a long time. There's probably a little bit of variation in the bolt hole centers. Um, it could be a little bit of the bracket too, but either way. I made it work, the brackets bolted in. I think the brackets are a little bit, you know, overpriced for what they are, but because you can buy them and they fit your truck and bolt right in, you, know, you can't complain too much. Um, what else can I say? I guess my only complaint would be for the price you pay for the 73387 C10 brackets, I think they should include the grade eight hardware. It's pretty cheap, but you know, it just saves you a trip of going to the store after you spent I want to say over a hundred dollars each for each bracket set 
um, to go get bolts, nuts, and washers. So that's my only complaint, my only you know negative feedback. But other than that, these things look badass. Uh, you can get them with seat heaters in them. You can get them, uh, I think, I'm not sure. I think you can tailor these to even sit lower. Um, there's different stitching options. They're, they're just all around cool seats for the price. Also, you've got right here, um, you could run a five point harness through here. I do think they say something about these not working with the anti-submarine belt, so that might be more for show. Um, but they fit, it's a tight fit, but they fit uh, the brackets for the stock seat belts. Although you can see it's, it's close here to rubbing um, right there. But other than that, um, they fit pretty good. I could probably move this or get different ones or something. Um, but I think it was an overall good purchase. They fit. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the review and installation of my Corbo seats. The next video I'm going to put out after my garage is done, you can see it's in progress behind me, uh, is going to be an adapter that I designed. And this is going to allow you to bolt up any Hurst shifter that's on 7 8 inch bolt centers to an MGW style short throw, which I think first became popular on the LS1s. Uh, in the Camaros, which is essentially the same style transmission shifter that I have in my truck. So stay tuned, check that out. Like I said, custom piece uh, should work for a ton of you guys doing T56 and six speed swaps. So let me know what you think.